Hey guys, welcome back to the Truth Pages. This video is going to be on Nipsey Hussle. As many already know, he died earlier today, and people have already started to speculate about the conspiracies that surround this man's death. And I don't even consider them conspiracy theories because it's really the truth. But I'm just going to show you guys why Nipsey Hussle was taken out, what caused him to die at the age of 33. from Honduras who never went to school, college, or medical school. Yet the man known as Dr. Savi claims to have found the cure for several life-threatening diseases, including AIDS. Too good to be true? Well, you be the judge. The lump in Myrtle Rick's left breast is gone. I haven't had any symptoms or problems or anything. Sabrina Peterson's son no longer disabled by sickle cell anemia. He has a lot of energy. I have to make him rest. Disease is cured by this man. His name is Dr. Sabi, but you won't find a medical degree hanging from his wall. Instead, a certificate of healing. We have complex things with science, but if we go back to God and use the herbs as God said, then you can see how simple it is. Then you Dr. Sabi believes what ails you can be cured with natural alkali herbs and a vegetarian diet solely made up of what he calls electric foods mushrooms, greens, and rye breads without starch. Well, Hippocrates established the principle of medical science by using herbs to cure diseases, then why the physician using the chemicals? Forty years ago, a doctor in Mexico cured CB of diabetes, asthma, and obesity with the very same herbs and diet he dispenses to all of his patients, whether they're suffering from lack of energy or full-blown AIDS. That package is an intra- cellular chelation. I'm removing plaque from the system. I'm removing inflammation. That is the base for all disease. And according to a medical affidavit provided by Dr. Sebi, it's working. It shows a patient diagnosed with HIV in November of 1993 was cured two months later. Thousands of patients worldwide swear by his methods and natural herbal medicine. Oh my God, specimen Z isn't Carter's body. What is it? Specimen Z is a cure for cancer. Carter didn't die, he cured himself. Hold it right there. <gasps> Damn it, Brian, you broke into my lab and you didn't wear a suit. Hey, why didn't he have to wear a suit? See what you've started now? Carter, you found a cure for cancer? Well, I didn't come up with it. A couple of eggheads I hired did. One of them's a Chinese. Boy, I don't like those people. But holy crap, wind them up and watch them go. How long have you had this? I don't know. When, when was that Who Let the Dogs Out song? You've had this since 1999? You know when Who Let the Dogs Out came out? It's a song about dogs and letting them out. I could have you arrested for breaking in here. Carter, you've discovered the holy grail of modern medicine. Why the hell would you keep it buried like this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there's far more money to be made in treating a disease than in curing it. Why cure someone of cancer in a day if we can treat them for a lifetime and bill them every step along the way? Why cure someone of cancer in a day if we can treat them for a lifetime and bill them every step along the way? So, to put it plainly, the pharmaceutical companies are a billion dollar business and most like many other companies the pharmaceutical company will do anything to protect its profit margin and with Nipsey Hussle coming out with a documentary that exposes the darkness of these pharmaceutical companies exposing and using his influence to help people understand better ways of eradicating diseases from their body because I believe personally that a lot of these diseases are man-made I mean the government wants you to believe that AIDS came from some guy having sex with an African monkey I mean how stupid does that sound <laughs> I mean that it is it's just hilarious that they push that narrative of where AIDS originated when it was developed in a lab. And the first person I believe it was tested on 
was Easy E. But that's a whole different video for a whole different day. Um, Nipsey Hussle lost his life today because he was exposing these companies. And like I said, they'll do anything to protect their profit margin. And him putting out this documentary would absolutely affect the profit margin of the pharmaceutical companies. And Nipsey Hussle has a lot of influence. He has a lot of followers, a lot of fans. And a lot of people would have been awakened to the truth of what the pharmaceutical companies are because they're all in it for the money. They could care less about who they treat and who they diagnose. All they set out to do is to make a profitable margin and to crush every other small business that tries to venture into finding ways to naturally eradicate disease from the human body. And I gotta give Nipsey Hussle props for taking a stance on the truth. Unfortunately, because of his truth, it came at a price. And at 33 years old, he's no longer with us. Sad, really is. Now, one more thing I wanna show you before I close out this video is of Nipsey Hussle on The Breakfast Club talking to Charlemagne about the documentary and it about Dr. CB. And he reveals how Dr. CB has developed the cure to AIDS. Let's take a look at it together. I believe this video, which was released in 2018, made Nipsey Hussle a marked man. Let's take a look. There's a lot of little jewels that you're saying in there. And that's what I like. Like I said, the medicine really is in the candy. Because even when you drop a ball like about Dr. Sebi. Yeah. Like just that one thing, they killed Dr. Sebi. will make somebody go research who, who Dr. Sebi is. 100%. Dr. Sebi. I thought it was Sebi. CB. CB. My bad. I said it wrong. You said Sebi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm an LA nigga, man. Too. My lingo a little different. Have you met right? Dr. Sebi? I never met him. I met his wife. And I, I take his products for sure. Why do why you think they he killed had... him? Why do they kill all holistic doctors? Right. Messing up the medical industry. It's Money. You short stopping that grind. Why do you get killed for hustling in front of a spot? You short stopping the grind. And these they check is billions. You got niggas that get flipped for a couple hundred thousand. So you playing with some pharmaceutical money, you know. And what's crazy, I'm I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial in 1985 when Dr. Sebi went to trial against New York. Right. Because he he put a newspaper he cured AIDS. Yeah. Did, did he did he he beat, beat the he case, case. Yeah. and he went to federal court the next day and beat that case yeah. on record. Yep. And nobody talk about it. Right. Just to go back to the Dr. Sebi thing real quick. What makes you want to do a CB. documentary? Doc okay, CB. get it right, man. What makes you want to do a documentary about Dr. Sebi? Um, I think the story is important. I think mm -hmm. it's a powerful narrative. It is. You know what I mean? And I think if imagine this, anybody in this room, if I could say, hey. Somebody cured AIDS. Y'all be like, yeah, right. And then I can show you an example of him going to trial and proving in a court to a jury that he cured AIDS. Y'all would be interested in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all would look into the way he did it, right? So I feel like more so than like championing his products or explaining his methodology, put some light on that case. Now, when you listen to the mainstream media, they're not going to admit that this man was killed because he was exposing the darkness of the pharmaceutical companies. The mainstream media is going to make you believe or try to influence you to believe that this was gang related and that it wasn't some type of conspiracy. So just keep that in mind when you watch the news. They're not going to tell you the truth. God bless. So in this video, we've looked at government cover-up, pharmaceutical company darkness. But another likely scenario is that Nipsey Hussle was a blood sacrifice. We know that happens a lot in the industry, and I think it's important for us to explore it from all perspectives. Could be a blood sacrifice, it could be a government cover-up. We don't know, but I'm sure more information will come out, and when it does, I'll make sure to cover it here on the truth pages i thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments below god bless if you enjoyed this video check out some of these other ones just like it i'm sure you'll find them very informative